Mixed martial arts is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. Here in California, it is one of the most popular sports, having the most number of fighters than any other state. And now a new bill aims to help fighters years after they throw in the towel. I love beating these guys and pushing all the way through and having the discipline to, to stick to the plan. Sacramento fighter Max Griffin is in his seventh year as a UFC fighter. And over the years, he's been injured on multiple occasions in the ring. And as a former amateur fighter, he says it's the financial wounds outside of the ring oh, that did. often hurt the most. We don't have a 401k per se. We don't have retirement per for the UFC or the bodies, the governing body of California. MMA fighters seldom get paid, and it often depends on the event. Assembly Bill 1136 aims to compensate them, but years in the future. We have a responsibility as a state to make sure that those fighters are safe and protected when they're in the ring and safe and protected when they're finished fighting. The bill's writer, Matt Heaney, is proposing a pension fund for fighters, allowing them to save money for retirement and provide a financial safety net to pay for medical bills. Ensuring that when these fighters are done, that they can retire with dignity and have some support. So how would it work? AB 1136 would not be funded through state dollars, but rather ticket sales, sports paraphernalia, and souvenirs. For every ticket sold, $1 would go towards the MMA Fighters Pension Fund. A fighter would become vested between 12 and 14 fights, which is about 39 scheduled rounds at a commission-regulated MMA event. Pension that already exists for boxers, this uh, bill would extend that pension to MMA fighters who fight a minimum number of fights in California. The goal is to grow the fund over years. Fighters would then have access to it when they turn 50 or sooner if they have an injury. For Griffin, the fund means a peace of mind in a dangerous sport. I know I'm not going to fight forever. And yeah, this money that this bill is going to generate is not going to let me never work again. But it can help. Now, the bill heads to the Senate for a hearing and a vote. Meanwhile, Griffin's next UFC fight is scheduled for July 1st against Michael Morales.